I'm going to have to write that play. It is a bit of a sort of rites of passage for an Irish playwright to write the play about the sort of, you know, the, the immigrants sort of abroad and, you know, I'm dealing with the sort of back home and the nostalgia for back home. And, and so I literally just sort of sat down and thought, well, fuck it, just write it. And I started writing it and there was a knock on the door in the play in the first page and, and two boys came in with a coffin. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to write a farce. So I stopped and I thought, I'm going to have to learn the sort of constructs of the farce. It's a father who makes his two sons get up every morning and put on moustaches and wigs and little ill-fitting suits and, and makes them do a farce. And, and that to me is, it's a, it's a strange sort of torture. My intention is to make a part impossible for an actor. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write this so that, you know, so I have to bring them to a point of just like, of despair because they go, oh my God, it's just logically when you begin to think about this character, your brain has to sort of go, you know, all over the place and it's endless. And that to me is excellent. I mean, you want to do that to an audience, mm -hmm. but to do it to an actor first, you know that the actor is going to sort of tap into something. For me, anyway, I'm defined by five stories to my brothers. I know they know me through these stories, and I know my brother John through sort of four stories. Now that's great. You know, I mean, we're blood, and it's enough for us. You know, it's our little sort of church, my ma's, you know, kitchen at home. That's enough for us to sort of get together and sort of tell these sort of stories. But for me, it's like, it's like, well, what if the stories aren't real? What if they're actually lies?